Hello everyone, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira and today we are playing Assassin's Creed Revelation. We are here in Cappadocia, Templar Stronghold, and we are, we're doing things. We know there's some Ottoman spies in the area, and we've made contact with one to learn that her compadres, her compatriots, have been captured. So, now, now we should be doing something about that. We're gonna go and talk to her and see what happens. Did you happen to see that we caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about? A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside. Into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. <laughs> Alright, the spy, Dilara, has been discovered and imprisoned by the Byzantines. Now her fate is uncertain. Find and rescue Dilara before it is too late. For full synchronization, we must not kill anyone. And it's the spy who shunned me is the mission name. Really? Really? Come on. Alright, so we need to locate Dilara's prison cell. Um, and I remember from last time when we arrived here and found her that we actually have a database entry on Dilara. So let's take a look here. Taylor's. Wow, we we just got the entry on Taylor's. We actually have a few, so let's uh, let's read them, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So first, we have the Great Chain, built sometime around 1000 CE. The Great Chain was an ingenious, if slightly mad, defensive measure, anchored to two large towers and strung across the mouth of the Golden Horn. The chain's primary purpose was to prevent enemy ships from sailing up the waterway and attacking the sensitive and poorly defended ports of Constantinople's interior. As low-tech as this sounds, the chain performed admirably on more than a few occasions for more than 400 years. And in 1453, it so vexed the Sultan Malmet II that he was forced to improvise an ever stranger plan to circumvent the Byzantine defenses. He pulled his warships over the hills of Galata and slid them on grease tracks into the Golden Horn, far up river from the chain. <laughs> it goes to show that crazy is often the only way to beat crazy. So, so in, because of this giant chain across the mouth of the river, he the Sultan attacking the Byzantines actually pulled his ships up out of the water and pulled them across the land <laughs> so he could avoid the chain. That is awesome. All right, tailors. So working as a tailor was lucrative and respectable vocation, which anyone, regardless of ethnicity or religion, could aspire to be in the Ottoman Empire, and one which benefited immensely from the cross-pollination of cultures and mixing in the streets and bazaars of Constantinople. Because the empire's broad expanse, Ottoman fabrics were famous for their vibrant colors, busy patterns, and incredible level of detail. Drawn full from cultures as far east as Persia and as far west as Greece, a true melting pot of sartorial splendor. Alright, so here's our objective here, Dilara, a Turkish woman born in the Top... Top... Cop... Top... Capi... Bleh, top Capi, that's right, it's the palace, the Top Capi... Harem, Dilara was raised from birth to honor the Sultan and his family, and fully trained to desire nothing more than a fine husband and a lofty station in life. This strict set of boundaries did not please or amuse her, however, she was, and she was quickly gained a reputation as an ill-mannered and brazen upstart. This suited her just fine, as it did a janissary named Tariq Barletti, who was quite ad who quite admired her boldness. 
Taken by her charms, Tark eventually arranged for her release to work as an envoy for the Janissaries, half out of kindness and half out of hoping this would win Delara's affection. It did not, and became a source of much grief for Tark in his later years. Alright, I was kind of expecting like an epic spy story from her. You know, but I, I guess that's not going to happen. So we're just going to, you know, go up above the stairs and we will completely um, pass over this restricted area here, at least for a little bit. Ooh, there's a, a little thingy over there. Uh, all right, let's let's do it. I got to do it. It's so close. We got a data fragment. Yay! All right. To the jail. Is there any guards here? How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. Shakuru, <laughs> try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people. But there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Sakulu, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. Christemu, I'd like to run that man through with a spear. Okay. So we need to go find this Nicholas guy who's got the key to the prison cell. And we need to get out of the restricted area because I feel like those guards are probably going to be coming this way. Maybe not, but, you know. Alright. I wonder if this is a restricted area right here. Yeah, it is. All right, so the guard with the key is over this way. Somewhere. Where are you going, my friend? Oop. So we've got a fight going on. No. 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 You? Nope. Ooh, be the nice easy guard. No. Alright. Retrieve the prison key by any means. I think I can just do that. And now we will kind of quickly make our way out of here before he notices. Awesome. And we must return and free Delara. So I just need to avoid those two guards. Oh, it looks like I could also have gotten up there from over that way. Okay, so... We have some pottery. Ugh. So many dead Ottomans. We should have gotten here sooner. You are welcome. Amanullah. What is that? 
Not everyone was taken prisoner. Poor men. Alasiti Kutsasim. That Turkman renegade did this. Shah Kulu. I'll kill him! Wait! Okay. So... We did not kill anyone. We must make it out of this restricted area and to the next um, objective. What is going on over there? It's like some sort of like temple thing. Oh, Ezio, I want you up here. I wanna, I wanna go check this place out. This looks interesting right here. Is that it? Just a little treasure? I don't want treasure, I want something cool. I don't need treasure right now. Okay, well, that wasn't so interesting. Uh, we can jump down. And we'll make our way to the next objective. Which looks like it's that great big building thing over there. What is that? That, ooh, I bet that is the chapel that they spoke of. There you are, Delara. What do you have to you say? You do not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Janus, we have to help him. Shakulu is torturing the remaining Ottoman prisoners. Kill Shakulu before any more die. For full synchronization, we must not let Janos lose more than half his health. Okay, so we must silence the gunmen. Alright, we can do this. Boosh! Alright. So, next, can I just jump right to here? Yes. Okay. And I guess climb here. And kill Shaku. That was... Oh no, come on. Come on, get out there, Etsy. Oh, what are you doing? Get on the thing. Go! Men who make a fetish out of murder deserve no pity. <laughs> this guy is a monster! Okay. Holy crap. All right, let's Whew. All right, let's take out some of these guards because I need to be able to focus on Shakulu. He is good. All right. He moves so fast, which is weird for someone in such heavy armor. Come on. You can do it, man. I just kicked him, like, to death. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. 
Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si. I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. Okay. Where to next? We got the Janus guy without letting him lose half of his health. Good job, Ezio. We got a multiplayer bonus. Alright, we earned bomb ingredients too. What are we doing? We're going over here somewhere. And... Wow. 11,000 something money, Aksha, deposited? That is amazing. Next I will see a dancing something. You will see a dancing something. I don't know what. Alright. Uh where's the bank? Let's let's take a quick stop at the bank and then the blacksmith, because I know for certain that we need some stuff here. We need the we need a knife. Let's get the Sultan's knife. Uh, withdraw some monies. Transaction concluded. And where is... Where is this bank? No, not bank. Blacksmith. Blacksmith's what I'm looking for. There we go. Alright, so we will get the Sultan's knife. No, by a Zed's knife. It is a specific Sultan's knife. So I, I guess that it's like a family heirloom? Or a, an antique, maybe? Collectible of some sort? <laughs> Alright, so... We need... Ooh, ooh, that's right. We do have that Prussian longsword that we need 5,000 more for to get more speed and... No. No, we will not. Uh, we get 10% Templar or something. You know, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I will get it when we return to the city. And, yeah, that's the perfect time. When we return to Constantinople. What is up, Ezio? Where are we going now? This is gunpowder, not millet! I got it! <laughs> oh, this is extremely convoluted and complicated, more so than it needs to be. The weapons taken from the Ottomans have been locked away. Infiltrate the weapon depot and destroy the gunpowder. For full synchronization, we must not take any damage. We got this. Uh, yeah, and we're going to take this long, convoluted path of climbingness to get there. Because I feel like there's got to be an easier way into the Ottoman Weapon Depot. But why would we take the easy way when we can climb the entire world and, you know, like, jump across things and... Zip line. There's going to be a zip line here somewhere. Yeah, there's a zip line right there. See? A zip line. So we're going to do some zip lining. And we're going to do some other stuff. And we're going to make our way to the weapon depot. Uh, but I will not zip line because I want that data fragment right there. <laughs> so close I could almost hear it. <laughs> so we have some guards, huh? Alright, I need... I need my weapon ready. I need my sword out. And let's go with a Detura Bomb. Find the incendiary explosives. Alright. Um, 
All right. So I got all those guards with the Tura powder. What's going on here? I feel like I need to go up, but what's going on down here? Is there anything? No, I do not see anything. Okay. So we'll make our way up. I think there's some more guards right around that corner. Yeah, there is. Two this time. Let's switch and let's poison the Armagovar. Mercenary, I know that. No, you do not. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, there's more people coming. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright. So. Ah! We took damage. <laughs> that guy's going crazy. And he doesn't... Uh... Okay. Well, that, that was fun while it lasted. Alright, let's, let's hang on to this axe and see if this axe works. Such tight quarters here that it's, you know, hard not to take damage. Hey, everyone. Okay, so... We need to go this way now. Do you think you can escape? I know I can escape. Oh, I lost more health. Okay. So I I almost did this, but you know. Oh these guys They like hit me at the most inopportune time. Boom. Alright. Where do I need to go? I feel like up here, maybe? Is this the way? What's this? No, this isn't the way. Um. Maybe up here. Did I just miss it? It's like right below me or above me. Ugh. Aha! Some special explosives. We have some incendiary explosives. Use the explosives to destroy the gunpowder. And where is this gunpowder? Right here. Interact. Bam! <laughs> All right, so we failed this one. We took we some damage. Sabotage, Manuel. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are I don't the think they're listening to you. We are Byzantines. Horaio, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Oh, Stop that man! Cut him down! 
Hmm. The last of the Paleologi. Manuel Paleologos is trying to calm his people amid the chaos of the explosions. A perfect opportunity to kill him and recover the final Masayev key. We must not take any damage. Why Why can we not take any damage ever? Alright. So, he's coming. Oh, he's right here. Can I... Uh, I want to... I want to get out my hidden gun, I think. Alright. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, what is that? It like glitched him ahead of me? Think about the Anarchy is great though, right? Come on, climb, Ezio. Climb, please. Thank you. Huh. So, what is going on here? You. You take advantage of a poor and displaced people. You sing us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. All right. So, all right. Uh, and I probably just lost the "do not get hit" thing by putting up my guard. But I wanted to read our database entry about Manuel Paleologos before we kill him. Oh, and we have Shak Shalaku Shakulu Shakulu. Yes. So very little is known about Shakulu about the life of. Wow, I should just start this one over again. Very little is known about the life of the legendary rebel leader Shakulu, except that he was born into an oppressed Turkmen tribe in eastern Anatolia, though raised within the boundaries of the Ottoman Empire. Shakulu fell in with the Templars after an Ottoman ambush left him orphaned and alone, raised from youth by Sfa Safavid sympathiz sympathizers and later Templar ideology ideologies I'm excited I want to fight this guy so I'm not even reading I should slow down his hatred for the Ottoman Turks was matched only by his furious determination to eliminate all opposition to the Templar ideology his uncertain partnership with Manuel was formed partly out of sheer sense of ideology and partly out of bitter convenience the Byzantines after all hadn't been much kinder than the Ottomans to his people all right, and lastly, Manuel Paleologos. Born the year of Constantinople's fall to the Ottomans, Manuel Paleologos, the nephew of the fallen Byzantine Empire. Emperor Constantine the Eleventh did not visit the city that might have been his until much later in life. As a boy, he was heavily influenced by the tales of his family's tragic fall from power with his brother Andres fostered early in early hopes of somehow reclaiming that glory. But his brotherly pact also fell to ruin. Andres, a friend of Rodrigo Borgia, an acquaintance of the Ottoman Sultan's brother, Krem, living under house arrest in Italy, advocated a militaristic approach against the Ottomans, to be led and commanded by the Templars. Manuel, on the other hand, preferred a subtler approach less flashy, but more likely to succeed. At some point after 1485, Manuel moved to Constantinople and immediately made his presence known to the Sultan, selling the rights of his throne to Bayezid II for a hefty pension. He then joined the Ottoman navy and converted to Islam. Okay. Thus, on the surface, he appeared the very modern model of a modern Ottoman. 
learned, curious, and proud of his adopted country. Andres was, of course, furious at his brother, believing him to be a traitor, but of the two men, Manuel's scheme proved more viable, at least on the surface. By the late 1490s, Rodrigo's interest in helping the Paleologi retake Constantinople had evaporated, and Andres had fallen deep into poverty, eventually dying alone and penniless in the gutters of Rome, sometime around 1502. But Manuel flourished. He grew fat and satisfied off his pension and the income pouring in from various other dubious concerns. By the time he was in his late fifties, he was one of the wealthiest people in the city. So did his wealth and success tempt his plan, temper his plan for world domination? I'm going to guess no. And it, <laughs> And was he still bitter about the Ottoman occupation of his city? Most likely, yes. All right, so get ready. We're going to get hit as soon as we leave this thing. Oh, he missed. Ah, uh, he hit us, though. Okay. Why can't I block him? Ooh, I want to throw him in the water. Come on. Just going to keep kicking him. Into the water you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Great way to die. Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Huh? But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What am I, Byzantine? These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. Seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Alright, so we didn't quite make it. We took damage. Poor Manuel. Oh, boy. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. Disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf Keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing! Leave her be! We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her! I know you'll try. Alright, the Templars, led, now led by Prince Almet, have threatened to kill Sophia if Ezio does not hand over the Masayev keys, leave Cappadocia, and make haste to Constantinople. For full synchronization, we must not lose more than half of our health. Uh, yeah. So, let's, let's get it done. Uh, I feel like I am gonna get wrecked as soon as I... Oh, there are so many of them, and I need, I need this. Because, yeah, uh, they are, they've backed me into a corner. This isn't good. Come on, run, Ezio, run. <laughs> okay, so we can go here. Oh, no, there's smoke. Everyone is dying. Did we do this? 
I hope we didn't do this. That's a lot of... Oh, I think it was us. That is a lot of civilians. Uh, I, I really hope that we are not killing all these people. Okay, so we have a little bit further to go here. I can't even see what's going on. Uh, we need to go up. Holy crap, I am... I'm falling. Can I see with... Oh, I can see with eagle vision. Except for when I take damage. Alright, we can do this. Go for it, Ezio. Right there, there's the exit. Uh, the ramp is right here. Follow the people, Ezio. You can do it. I've got faith. Go! Okay, so. We have made it out. We need to make it back to our boat. Our ship. And we need to get back to Constantinople. Oh boy, there's a lot of people here. Oh, we're gonna... We are going to do that mission right now, huh? Don't don't really think it's time for that, Ezio. Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is invaluable. Grazie. So, where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Uh, thank you, Mentor. Ready to catapult and watch for my signal. Stay close. All right, so we have... We have... What do we have here? Having spent more than a month in training with Altair, the Polo brothers are ready to return to Constantinople. But a party of Mongols is, break, is blocking the way. Escort the Polo brothers safely out of the village. And the current objective is passing the torch. So we just got some entries. We got Niccolo and Maffeo Polo. Brothers born in Venice around 1230 CE or so, these two seemed bred from birth to be explorers. In the early 1250s, they left their native country for Constantinople, both barely 20 years old, with dreams of crashing in on the ongoing Latin occupation of the ancient city. That same year, they opened a trading post and quickly established themselves as men of vision and talent. Over the next few years, the brothers traveled between their new home and Florence, staying long enough to keep ties strong and, in Niccolo's case, father a child named Marco. But even this sacred domestic duty could not tame the fire in Niccolo's belly, <laughs> and the brothers returned to Constantinople shortly after Marco's birth. In 1250, the brothers sailed south to Accra, and from there they traveled to Masayef at the invitation of a man named Darim, who had befriended the previous year. Once they arrived, Niccolo and Maffeo Polo found themselves in the company of the legendary assassin mentor, Altair ibn Lahad. It was a meeting that proved as life-altering as any mystery mysteries. Uh, oh, no. Lol. <laughs> proved as life-altering as it was mysterious. 
After spending barely a month in Altair's company, Niccolo and Maffeo were changed men, now devoted assassins. They left Masaev on the eve of a Mongol attack, carrying Altair's codex and five strange artifacts. Their valued immeasurable and their purpose unclear. After many weeks of hardship and tragic loss, most notably of the Codex, which unceremoniously fell into the hands of a raiding Mongol party, the Polo brothers returned to their trading post in Constantinople and began the long process of establishing a functional Assassin's Guild, drawing on locals from all corners of the region, Greeks and Turks, Albanians and Jews, Genesee and Arabs. But their effort could not erase their shame of having lost Altair's valuable codex. In 1259, after hiding Altair's five artifacts with great care, they left the city they had called home for nearly a decade and headed east to seek the reigning Mongol Khan on an errand that would only be completed decades later by Niccolo's son Marco. Alright. So. So we need to escort... Niccolo and Marco Polo, and I believe we have our brother with us. No, our son with us, or something. Uh, what do I have? I just have. All right, this way. What? What is this? Press and hold X. Oh. Oh, I see. So Ezio is using the app. Ezio Altair is using the apple. Alright. Hello, everyone. Hmm. It's like the Mongols just die when Stay Altair close. gets near Let's them. Move. Let's go. That is awesome. Oh, and he even steals the horse and rides away with it. <laughs> Let's move. Uh, where do I need to go? Do I do I need to go up? Is that what I need to do? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, apparently not. Don't know why it <laughs> was like marked up there, but we're good. Oh, okay. Hmm. So Altair has mastered the apple. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> End of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Niccolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message? For whom? I wish I knew. Huh. Memory sequence number seven has been completed. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? 
Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Okay, so we have some new items, and we have an assassin recruit available, and we have some some final missions available. So I think this is where we are going to have to end for now. Uh, when we return, we will probably start by visiting our oh this is going to be nice and easy actually so let's call our assassin recruits and let's take care of these guys here perfect we've got this guy liberty join our cause fight to restore peace to these troubled times you are an inspiration effendim i will add my voice to this chorus Okay, so we have our last assassin recruit. We're once again full up on recruits. So next time when we return, we will continue with the missions. We will go and figure out what's going on with Sophia, and we will save her if necessary. We don't, we don't want any harm to come to Sophia. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Assassin's Creed Revelations. Have yourselves a wonderful night.